everybody and welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. You guys know what today is. We are going over what sold for me last week. And if you are new on Tuesdays, I typically let out a what sold video just to let you guys know what's selling for me online. So it can either help you with sourcing yourself or if you just need to kind of get things relisted, maybe you can kind of see some of the things that are selling for me. In today's video, we are going over December 27th sales to December 3rd, so let's hop right into those sales. I feel like I had a really good week this week despite not being able to list as much as I typically do. I was probably just getting by with like one to three items being posted every day, but that was giving my account some activity and I did happen to make a lot of sales on one day in particular, so that was kind of nice. As always, I feel like Mondays are not my greatest sales day and I probably have a trend of not making any sales on Monday. So going into November 27th, there were no sales there, but jumping into the 28th, we definitely got the ball rolling there. November 28th, I happened to make a total of six sales here between a couple different platforms and we'll go ahead and jump right into those. Starting off my sales November 28th, I had started off with a pair of men's Under Armour black tracksuit pants. These I've had listed for a while and they did come from out of my husband's closet. He went ahead and donated these to me. So I have these posted. These ended up selling for a total of $18. I put a total of $3.60 into fees on these and that did leave me with a profit of $14.40. I happened to have a customer pay full price on these as I did drop the price for the weekend, just trying to clean out my closet. I'm still kind of working on that. So these were part of something that I went ahead and dropped. And this sale happened through Poshmark. The next item to sell on the 28th was again, another men's item. Again, also an item that was donated to me out of my husband's closet. So this one I didn't hold too long, but it did take about almost three months to sell. This was for an H&M double breasted cardigan sweater. And I went ahead and did drop the price on this one as well as those Under Armour pants in hopes that I was going to move this out. It took maybe about three days after I dropped the price for one of the likers to come in and purchase it at full price at that point. So this H&M sweater ended up selling for a total of $8. I put in a total of $2.95 into fees on this and that did leave me with a $5.05 profit on the sweater. Moving on to the next sale, the following Sale was for a Calvin Klein maroon sweepwear jogger set. I know checking comps that this particular jogger sweatpants set had a total of two pants. Unfortunately, I did only find one and it was in decent condition. I had sold this in one day, so I was happy to go ahead and move this out that I did accept a lower offer than I had initially anticipated, but these ended up selling for $8. Again, I put in a total of $2.95 into fees on this, and that did leave me with a $3.90 profit. This moved out just so fast and once I was checking comps, I realized that it probably shouldn't have been an item that I picked up, but I was happy to be able to move this in a day and just kind of move it out. The next item to sell on the 28th was for a Nike women's pink dry fit long sleeve workout shirt. This one was so like simple in the front, but on the back it did have like an open back and a crisscross. I'll put a picture here. Um, but it definitely sat in my closet way too long and I know that when I picked it up I wasn't really checking all too much for like flaws So there were like little snags in there, which is why I had to take a lower offer on this one But I was able to move this out for ten dollars on Macari upon an offer I put in a total of one dollar and ninety three cents into fees on this and that left me with a profit of seven dollars and forty nine cents 
This shirt was listed at the beginning of May, so it did take me quite a while. It took a total of 204 days. Um, and again, there wasn't too much profit made in this one, but I was happy to have this one move out. The next sale that I had was another Poshmark sale. This one was a sale for these Eddie Bauer men's straight fit medium wash denim jeans. If you've been on my channel before, you know I love picking up Eddie Bauer. I have never come across men's jeans before, but I know the straight fit was a style that most likely would be sought after, so I wanted to pick these up and test them. These ended up selling in 12 days, so I definitely would pick them up again. The profit, though, was not as high as I thought it was going to be initially, but I was still happy with the profit and the turnaround time on these. The jeans ended up selling for a total of $18 on Poshmark. I put in a total of $3.60 there into platform fees, and that left me with a profit of $13.25 in just about two weeks. The last sale that I had on the 28th was a late night sale. This was due to me trying to drop the prices on things so that I can get them relisted after the weekend. I ended up starting off with these Torrid Premium Distressed Plaid Patched Boyfriend Jeans. And I remember picking these up thinking like Torrid was my jam. However, slowly I did put out there that I do not like picking up Torrid denim anymore. So I was just trying to get these out of my closet um, for a good profit because I did put in about like six or eight dollars into these. So these ended up selling on Poshmark once I dropped the price. I had a Liker swoop in and buy these outright. They sold for a total of $30. I put in a total of $6 into platform fees. And after cost of goods, I did end up with a $16 profit. These I know I posted at the beginning of January. So just took almost about a year to move out of my closet. November 29th, I had one sale here and this was a really small sale, but I was happy to get old inventory moved out this day. This was for an Old Navy unisex gray star and moon one piece long sleeve footed zip up pajamas. With all my baby clothes, I do hope that somebody goes ahead and bundles everything so I don't initially post it thinking that I would sell piece by piece, but I was again Happy to have someone go ahead and pick this up. This ended up selling for $5 upon an offer from the buyer. I put in $2.95 into platform fees. And since this was out of my kid's closet, I didn't have any cost of goods into this. So I did end up with a $2.05 profit off of this one. The last day of the month on November 30th, I finished out with only one sale here. This was for an express black floral one piece romper. This sat in my closet forever. I only used it once. This was personal um, and I used it once and I don't know, every time I put it on, it just was not for me. I love rompers. However, I don't like how they look on myself. So I decided to take it out and post it at the end of like April. So this took just about seven months to clear out of my closet. I ended up making a sale on eBay by sending out an offer to a watcher on there. I sent out, I believe like a $16 offer just trying to get rid of this. The buyer accepted, so paid a total of $21.85 there. I put in a total of $7.75 into platform fees. And since this was personal, I did make a $14.10 profit. Jumping into December, there were no sales on the first, unfortunately for me. But jumping into the second, I did happen to make two sales here. The first sale is something I am so excited about. It is my highest sale to date. So far, I ended up selling this Aviator Nation black five stripe unisex sweater. And when I saw this at the bins, I only saw like the stripe on the sweater, which I just about died because based on the pattern, I kind of already knew what it was and I was hoping that it was Aviator Nation. 
to my surprise it definitely was so i only paid this trip a dollar and 15 cents for this sweater i was so excited to get this listed and it only took 19 days to sell so just about three weeks it moved out pretty quick i had tons of likers on all different platforms and no offers or anything so i was kind of just waiting and i was for sure that this would sell on ebay because i placed my closet on there at 35 percent off for like the weekend of thanksgiving no luck there but i was so happy that somebody snagged this at my full asking price of 130 dollars here i put in a total of 26 dollars into platform fees for this which left me with a profit of $102.85 on this sweater. This definitely made my day on Saturday to happen to look at my phone and see that I had made a sale and I already knew what it was priced at so upon seeing that somebody just purchased it outright it just made me so happy and definitely made my day. The last sale that I made on December 2nd was for a Lululemon Find Your Unwind Pullover Pink Heathered Sweater. This one I did have for quite a while and I know that it took me over a year to sell this one, but kind of checking comps, I know that I priced it really high so I may have relisted it like once or twice. Each time with that price being really super high, I kind of dropped down the price to $35 and from there, I didn't want to send out any other offers because comps were between $25 to like $35, $40. Um, so I didn't have my Posh Sidekick send out any offers, but I did receive an offer for $25 the same day that I dropped the price. And I wasn't ready to take that $25 yet, so I did counter offer her. From there, the buyer declined my $30 offer. And it wasn't until the next day I woke up that morning with an offer for $27 from the buyer. And at that point, I assumed she just really, really wanted it. And I had just made that Aviator Nation sale. So I was feeling in a grateful mood that I was happy to move this out. Unfortunately for me, this took a total of 345 days. So it lasted in my closet way longer than I wanted to, but it did end up selling for $27. I put in a total of $5.40 into platform fees and that left me with a profit of $15.60. Moving into the last day, we are on December 3rd. This day I only had one sale here due to an offer that I sent out on Macari. This was for a pair of 89th and Madison black elastic pull on capri pants. I know that I have been getting better at sending out offers on like Macari and Curtsy. Since I don't have offers being automatically sent out, I do try and go in daily and send out offers there that way I can hopefully make some sales and it's actually been working out for me with like Macari. For this instance, I decided to send out this offer because there was a couple likers this week that had liked this item. So I went ahead and sent out a $15 offer and within like an hour, I had one of the likers go ahead and purchase this. I ended up having to put in a total of $2.65 into platform fees and this item was donated to me, so it was full profit. I ended up with a profit of $12.35 for these. It took me about 160 days to sell, but they did have quite a bit of attention everywhere. So I may have just priced these a little too high, which is why they sat in my closet, but happy that they found a new home. That wraps up my sales for the week. I did happen to have a total of 11 sales for a gross profit of $290.85. That's typically where I sit. Um, anything lower than 100 is definitely not a good week. But again, compared to what I have been listing and kind of trying to keep my account active as much as I can, I just have a ton of inventory to kind of get through. 
So I'm hoping this week I can list and photograph as much as I can and make those sales happen. That way you guys can catch what sold next week. So until next week's what sold video, see you guys then. Bye.